Welcome to Tech Genie. Public Wi Fi networks, like those in coffee shops or hotels, are not nearly as safe as you think. Even if they have a password, you're sharing a network with tons of other people, which means your data is at risk. Here's how to stay safe when you're out and about. Just because most wireless routers have a firewall to protect you from the internet doesn't mean you're protected from others connected to the same network. It's remarkably easy to steal someone's username and password, or see what they're doing just by being on the same network. Don't take the chance. We're going to show you which settings are the most important ones, as well as how to automatically change your settings to the appropriate level of security every time you connect to a public network. The settings. First, let's start by talking about what settings and apps can keep you safe. Make sure these are enabled anytime you're on public Wi Fi, whether it's password protected or not. If other people you don't know are on the same network, you want to protect yourself. 1. Turn off sharing. When you're at home, you may share files, printers, or even allow remote login from other computers on your network. When you're on a public network, you'll want to turn these things off, as anyone can access them, they don't even need to be a hacker, and depending on your setup, some of that stuff probably isn't even password protected. Here's how to turn off sharing. Two, Enable your firewall. Most OTs come with at least a basic firewall nowadays and it's a simple step to keeping unwanted local users from poking at your computer. You may already be using a firewall, but just in case, go into your security settings, in Windows under Control Panel System and Security Windows Firewall, and on a Mac under System Preferences Security and Privacy Firewall, and make sure your firewall is turned on. You can also edit which applications are allowed access by clicking on Allow a Program or Feature in Windows and Advanced in OS X. Your firewall is not an end-all, be-all protector, but it's always a good idea to make sure it's turned on. 3. Use HTTPS and SSL whenever possible. Regular website connections over HTTP exchange lots of plain text over the wireless network you are connected to, and someone with the right skills and bad intent can sniff out that traffic very easily. It's not that big of a deal when the text is some search terms you entered at Lifehacker, but it is a big deal when it's the password to your email account. Using HTTPS for visiting websites, or enabling SSL, when using applications that access the internet, such as an email client, encrypts the data passed back and forth between your computer and that web server and keep it away from prying eyes. 4. Turn Wi-Fi off when you aren't using it. If you want to guarantee your security and you're not actively using the internet, simply turn off your Wi-Fi. This is extremely easy in both Windows and OS X. In Windows, you can just right-click on the wireless icon in the taskbar to turn it off. On a Mac, just click the Wi-Fi icon in the menu bar and select the Turn Off Airport option. Again, this isn't all that useful if you need the Internet, but when you're not actively using it, it's not a bad idea to just turn it off for the time being. The longer you stay connected, the longer people have to notice you're there and start snooping around. How to automate your public Wi-Fi security settings Obviously, you don't want to have to manually adjust all of these settings every single time you go back and forth between the coffee shop and your secure home network. Luckily, there are a few ways to automate the process so you automatically get extra protection when connected to a public Wi-Fi network. When you first connect to any given network on Windows, you'll be asked whether you're connecting to a network at your home, work, or if it's public. Each of these choices will flip the switch on a preset list of settings. The public setting, naturally, will give you the most security. You can customize what each of the presets entails by opening your control panel and navigating to Network and Sharing Center Advanced Sharing Settings. From there, you can turn Network Discovery file sharing, public folder sharing, media streaming, and other options on or off for the different profiles. 
Thanks for watching.